Hello, hogs are great here. Today, it just stopped raining. So I finally got to come outside. I built this project earlier today while it was raining outside, but we're gonna build a black larva uh, compost bin. Um, it was a very simple build. I knew it would be. Uh, I just wanted to show you the completed project since I do not have the capabilities to video edit very well. So I'm still working it. But what you're gonna need is PVC pipe. You're gonna need uh, inch and a quarter is what I used. Um, and I can show you what we did. This was an old bin that we used from our house. Uh, when we moved into our new house, we had things stored in it. It was bent up on the side, so I'm using it. I don't feel like it's needed to go buy another one, but uh, here's how it's built. And I've already put some compost stuff in there. Um, you take the inch and a quarter pipe, you cut grooves in it for the black larva to come up through. Uh, you make the end kind of pointed and um, you make them two little ramps that comes up. And if you'll see, it tees off there and it can drop straight to the ground for the chickens to eat on. Now, one of the things I wanted to tell you is that in addition to having a place for the flies to come in, they're gonna put their larva inside this corrugated material here. And then once the larva uh, matures somewhat, it will fall into the compost and into the food scraps, and it'll start eating it and churning it up, turning it up, and um, it makes a great compost. But the beneficial factor, and the reason why I built this box to begin with, is the fact that right there is my chicken coops. And um, if you've ever priced black soldier larva flies uh, in the stores, you're gonna see that you'll pay about $12 for 10 ounces. That's ridiculous because most people have that food. It spoils sometimes, and uh, I know that we're not the only ones. But a few things with this build that I want to tell you that will help you out is that you don't need to cut holes in your containers. I used a heat gun, and you know, because you have pointed edges anyway, just like right there, where the fly larva drops to the ground, heat those holes up just a little bit and poke it through. It's super tight. You don't have to silicone. Everything is super, super tight. So to me, you get better results doing it that way than you do if you drill holes. So like I said, this is all for my chickens and uh, I'm doing this just for them and also a place to put our scraps and make compost as we go. Um, this was a fun project. I've enjoyed it, um, but it's time to feed my chickens what they love. This hogs are great. Like and subscribe and uh, enjoy this build. Try it yourself.